meeting entities on LSD and DMT. I've had literally hundreds of psychedelic trips under my belt prior to this experience, but I wanted to go deeper. One night, after taking four hits of Invader Zim LSD tabs, I decided to break out the free base DMT and wanted to take it to another level. I was extremely experienced with LSD but relatively new to DMT and had only done it a few times before this, by itself, in lower doses. I also had about 8 beers, weed, 8 grams of kratom and 2 grams of phenobut that night, so I was pretty messed up, but I had high tolerance to these substances at that point. I don't think they affected this experience that much, if anything dulled it. I was peeking on the LSD and then loaded up a bong with 30 mg of DMT, weed sandwich, a pipe with 30 mg of DMT, weed sandwich, and then 20 mg into a meth pipe slash oil burner, 80 mg total, smoked. I was absolutely tripping at that point on the LSD, but again, wanted to take this to a new level. I take the first hit out of the bong. Things start feeling weird, my vision starts vibrating and my body starts looking like I gained 200 pounds and lost 2 feet in height. I was stumpy and fat. I take the second hit out of the pipe. Things starts popping off at this point. I start hallucinating vividly. I glance over towards my closet which was filled with clothes and random other objects, which has now been replaced by a dancing cactus with flailing arms, covered in esoteric Christmas lights. I glance towards my RGB gaming keyboard which was set to a rainbow color shifting pattern. The keys were no longer English but some insane alien language. That's weird, I thought. I was having a hard time focusing and reaching my goal of that third hit. I was alone and had nobody to help me, always have a trip sitter. I pick up the meth pipe with the remaining DMT, I smoke it and my entire reality just melted away. I look to my left, where I had a sexy woman poster in a bikini on my wall. I start blasting off at this point. I was staring at this poster, really just looking at her breasts, and suddenly her breasts started multiplying. Two became four, then eight, then twelve. I was shocked. How could this happen? I suddenly became extremely horny, then a second later I completely forgot what horny means, what sexuality is, what sex itself is. I became even more shocked and worried, as a man this was hard to comprehend. I closed my eyes and was at level 2 as McKenna described it. The chrysanthemum or the waiting room in his words. Seconds later a roaring rush of cackling energy invaded my ears and I started to feel as if I was falling through the earth at a great speed. Butterflies in my stomach. I smashed through this wall slash doorway. Next thing I know the hallucination suddenly stopped. My closed eyes observed blackness again. I was suddenly struck with that eerie feeling that you are no longer alone. That someone is watching you. Out of the corners of my vision these small fractals, like Tetris blocks, started flying into the center of my vision from every angle forming this strange face that I will never forget. In retrospect I believe I encountered the entity of Heoka. When his face fully formed he started telepathically saying to me, repeatedly, I told you so. Ha 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 ha. I told you so. He hey. I was so amazed and stunned I didn't know how to react. After what was probably 20 seconds of communicating with him I started flying backwards at great speed. I was shocked. I said out loud several times holy fucking shit. I was flying backwards through this insane universe of hallucinations. I opened my eyes but could no longer see anything. I was looking at life through these glass bricks which distorted and bent light which were covered in flames, best way I can describe it. I gave up trying to see things and closed my eyes again. I was greeted by another entity. It never spoke to me, but it looked exactly like an Aztec god. In an Aztec god art like pose it was surrounded by what looked like the Aztec calendar. Hundreds of foreign alien symbols. It's one of the most beautiful things I've ever witnessed. After a minute, this faded and was replaced by this shining like 3D cube which made out of marble and carved out of random alphanumeric characters which were constantly shifting and the block was rotating like a Rubik's cube. I opened my eyes again and still cannot see anything. My vision was blanketed with rainbows of color and symbols. I started coming down shortly after that. I kept thinking and saying out loud to myself, again, holy fucking shit. It's the only thing I could think of into rationalized thought at that moment. Suddenly, as I was coming down, I realized that I was listening to music. Thule, third eye to be precise, and the realization that I could hear music again was comforting as I slowly came back down over the course of the next 5 to 10 minutes. Then I just enjoyed the rest of the LSD trip. I will never forget that experience and it will stick for me for life. Crazy shit. I tried DMT dozens more times over the years but never in combination and a lower dose. I feel like taking this combo is feeling like someone comes up behind you on a bridge and slaps a bungee cord to your foot and pushes you off with no warning. 
I might try it again, if I feel the need for it, but for now I think one experience was enough.